Hi, this is Sarah, and uh, I have uh, in front of me uh, the Matrix Quattro DAC and headphone amplifier. They were kindly loaned to me by Project 86 on uh, headfi.org, uh, so I could evaluate them. And I've had them now for almost a week, and uh, the summary is I'm highly impressed. Uh, underneath you'll see a, a Zero DAC, uh, which was my original uh, desktop headphone amplifier. And the rest of this is the system that I've been uh, listening uh, to these pieces through, actually the DAC. Uh, I've got an Audible Illusions Modulus 2, and I'm feeding uh, digital signal to the uh, DAC with the uh, uh, DT or 7700ES uh, um, DVD player, Sony, and the power amplifier is a Perot PMF2150B, uh, and I have a Velodyne ULD15, and the speakers are um, ScanSpeak uh, monitors. Uh, they're the uh, cabinets are sourced from Matasound as well as the crossover, and then there are scans, big drivers, a 7-inch woofer and a uh, uh, D2902 dome tweeter. And over here I have uh, some pro equipment. Um, the uh, uh, piece of interest is this one. It's uh, a Mackie uh, Onyx 400F, which is an ADC. It's an analog to digital converter. And uh, uh, it goes both ways, A to D and D to A. And it's intended to connect to a computer to be able to record to a digital audio workstation, a DAW. And here's the computer right here. And this is an external hard drive right here for archiving uh, recordings. And underneath is a 7th uh, Circle Audio preamplifier. And there's a RAIN preamplifier as well, which I don't use. So anyhow, um, a little bit about the DAC. It uh, has USB. Uh, and AUGs ins, as well as SPDIF, AES, CBU, and Toslink. Uh, you can act as a preamp. Uh, it has a motorized volume control with a remote. And the remote is actually quite nice. It's a, uh, a metal remote, very well made. Uh, here it is. And it's actually rather hefty. It's heavy. The buttons are fairly responsive. You really got well. They're 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 recessed a little bit, but they're easy to use, and it's a beautifully made thing. It is all I believe it's probably aluminum, but it's quite heavy. It weighs probably a half a pound. Um, who knows? But I'm, I'm guessing it's it's got some heft to it. The DAC the DAC and the headphone amp are beautifully made. They're not very big, as you can see. They're about the same size. As a benchmark, um, DAC 1, if you're familiar with that piece, uh, the DAC, it's hard to see, has got two headphone outputs, headphone 1 headphone 2. Headphone 1 will mute the uh, line outs on the DAC, so if there's something playing uh, through, say, your preamplifier or whatever, you plug your headphones in, it'll mute it. And then the, uh, the headphone amp itself has got an auto mute as well. And uh, there's a source, there's a power button, source selection button, and then uh, solo unbalanced, or solo balanced uh, uh, headphone one input or output, and this, and then a headphone balanced output. Now the interesting thing is, if I plug my um, uh, HD 600s into the, the number one output, it'll just give me a mono signal. If I plug it into the the uh, uh, number two. It works just fine in stereo. My Edemotic ER4S is my in-ears. Uh, work in stereo on one and on two, so it must be the way they're configured. I'm not really sure. I didn't read the manual on it. I'm unlike most women. I don't read manuals. I just play with things. But uh, that's <laughs> that's me. Anyway, uh, this is just a quick run over of the DAX. I can show you the rear panel. Uh, if you can see through all the wiring that I have back here. This is everything that we have. Uh, these are line outs, and then this is the uh, uh, balanced outputs as well, which are feeding the uh, headphone amplifier. The inputs are all right here. These are line ins. Uh, this is a BNC connector with an adapter for a SPDIF RCA connector, Toslink, and then USB. And then over here is the AES EBU. And then the amplifier um, has line ins, unbalanced and balanced, and uh, no line outs. That's just uh, it's just a headphone amp. It doesn't do anything else. 
And that's what we have. And as I said, I am very impressed with these little pieces. They sound really, really good. And uh, hopefully my, my purse will survive uh, this loan and I won't go off buying any. So anyway, thanks very much.